This video is brought to you by the Wake Tech ILC and is closed captioned. Today, we'll be looking at some simple punctuation rules regarding commas. Firstly, let's jump into the several times that you should use a comma. Separating elements in a series, conjunctions, introductory elements, parenthetical elements, coordinate adjectives, and set it off quoted elements. Let's go into each one in detail. Separating elements in a series. This is when you have three or more items in a list, which is also known as the Oxford comma. This is used so that you can easily tell each item apart, such as in this sentence. I bought apples, oranges, and watermelons. If the comma wasn't there, you may think that the two items at the end are included as one item. Here's an instance where the commas would be necessary to tell the items apart. My favorite ice cream flavors are vanilla, chocolate, and cookies and cream. If the comma wasn't after chocolate, it would be difficult to tell if there are three or four flavors being listed. Second are conjunctions. This is one of the more common uses of a comma. A conjunction can bring two independent clauses together. There are seven important conjunctions to remember. And, but, or, yet, for, nor, and so. A great way to remember these conjunctions is with the acronym FANBOYS. Here are some examples of using conjunctions. He tried to go to the store at 5 o'clock, but the traffic was insane. She couldn't find a plastic water bottle in the refrigerator, so she used a reusable one instead. Her friends warned her not to do her homework late, yet she was up late the night before writing her paper. The third one is introductory elements. Sometimes, you may be introducing the sentence with an introductory phrase or transition word, in which case you should use a comma. When reading the sentence, you can feel how an introductory phrase may be setting up the sentence, such as in these sentences. Yesterday, my brother and I went to the bookstore to find a copy of Moby Dick. In order to beat the boss in Mario, I had to be patient and wait for openings to not get hurt. Before applying to college, I have to make sure that my grades are top-notch and that I have recommendation letters. The fourth time that you use commas are with parenthetical elements. Sometimes, you might want to include information that isn't an absolute necessity in a sentence, and that is where these commas can come into play. Here are a few examples. Jack, my father, bought the groceries last week. Trevor's goal, to make it into the NHL, was slowly becoming a reality. The fifth time that you use commas are with coordinate adjectives. If you have two adjectives right next to each other, you would use a comma to separate them and make it clear what the adjectives are. Here's an example. The dark, silent night terrified Sarah. The sixth time that you would use a comma is to set off quoted elements. This is used a lot with signal phrases, which introduces a quote that you are using. Here's how this would look. Franklin Roosevelt said, The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. She screamed, wait up for me. Also, notice that the punctuation at the end of the sentence is inside the quotation mark. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on OrgSync and like us on Facebook. If you are interested in learning more about punctuation and want to use some more complicated techniques, check out the follow-up to this video on semicolons, colons, and dashes.